Hi everyone, in today's video I'm going to be showing you how easy it is to make one of these really pretty heart shaped tall wreaths. The materials I used for this wreath are a cutting mat, pipe cleaners, a card template, multiple coloured rolls of tulle, a rotary cutter and the all important heart shaped wreath. Using the template which is 8 inches wide by 6 inches high because the rolls of tulle are 6 inches high, you need to start cutting multiple layers of the tulle ready to roll. Layer down 4 different colours of the tulle in a pile and then we're going to pop on the template Using the rotary cutter, we're just going to cut through all four layers. Next, take one of the pipe cleaners, fold it in half and cut through the folded part so that you are left with two separate pieces, just like so. Next, we're going to take one layer at a time of the tool and we're going to roll them doesn't need to be too neat because you're not really going to see it but it just needs to be quite even so that when you do the wreath you've got some nice even little curls. I'm going to wrap each roll individually until all four are completed. That's how your four colours of tulle should look like when they've all been rolled. Taking the pipe cleaner we're just going to wrap it around the centre and twist it quite tightly to hold it all in place because we don't want them moving around. That is your first bunch of tool made. We're going to repeat this now about 55 times so that we've got enough to go on the wreath. This is the heart shaped wreath that we're going to be using and these are our rolled up bunches of tool that we've made. Looking really cute there. I love how the little curls look. Turn over the wreath and take the first bunch of rolled up tool and thread the pipe cleaners through the wire and twist it just like we did around the tool. Keep twisting it so it's nice and tight. Then we're going to take the second bunch and we're going to do exactly the same, keeping it nice and tight. This is how it's going to start looking when you've got a few of the bunches on. Once you get going, it is quite quick to start adding all the bunches of tool. And as you can see, this is how nice and bushy and full it starts to look. The bushiness hides the fact that you can't see the wire behind. So from the back, you can still see the long pieces of pipe cleaner, which is fine because we just need to keep them in case we need to move any pieces about. And as you can see, I've placed some of the pipe cleaners on the outer edge and some on the inner edge. And this helps keep it looking nice and bushy. We're now going to complete the rest of the heart wreath. And that's how it looks when it's all completed. And I think that looks so pretty. I did add a little bit of purple in as well, just to add a little bit of extra colour. And I think that looks so cute. This is how it looks from the back. And as you can see, it does look a little bit messy, but that's fine. Because what we're going to do now is we're just going to go and trim off all the excess pieces of pipe cleaner when you're happy with the placement of the Tully rolls. And now you have a stunning heart-shaped Tully wreath. Thanks very much for watching. See you in my next video. 